bright and early here at five o'clock or so on a Monday morning. I'm headed out on a California trip today in the TSX. It's gonna be about 470 or 80 miles to uh, Santa Barbara area, up in a place called Ojai. I'm gonna be attending a press conference or press event for the 2024 Integra Type S. So my chariot of choice today is the TSX. Got my CD album in place for the proper period correct audio soundtrack. It's my first step of the trip here in Quartzsite, Arizona, just on the verge of the California state line, maybe 120, 130 miles in. We're gonna continue and press on. It's one of my long-term traditions to stop here in Desert Center, California, just to enjoy this derelict old family cafe. It's getting really bad. This place uh, now has broken windows all the way through it. And even the post office across the street, you can see has a, well, post office is over there, but this marketplace has a collapsed roof now. Really sad to see that wore my blue shirt to match the TSX. Now from here, we kind of start dropping down eventually into the LA area. And from there, it's just hop, skip and a jump off uh, Highway 101 toward the coast and then on into Ojai. Final fuel stop. I think I'm only about 30 minutes or so from the final destination. Freeway has ended and now we're doing back roads for the last eight or 10 miles toward the resort. Nice little twisty road here on Highway 33. Hey, Integra. Made it to the Ojai Valley Inn and I'm gonna get checked in here. Unfortunately, the weather turned a little bit omni here in the last few miles and I'm in getting a little bit wet, but that's okay. The car did awesome and this place looks very posh. So let's go check it out. Do you see what I see? Oh, it won't focus. <laughs> But yeah, there you go. That's tomorrow's fun. Check those babies out. Got the whole Tiger Eye family here present and accounted for, including MDX Type S, TLX Type S, and Integra Type S. Not to forget the Halo NSX Type S in Gotham Gray. Guess that's the one that missed the memo on Tiger Eye Pearl. Just taking a stroll up to the lobby again here a second. It's my mom's birthday on Wednesday, so I'll be celebrating that out here, unfortunately, but I found a piece of stationery in the uh, hotel room. I'm going to mail her a letter from this resort to celebrate the occasion. Looks like an Indie Yellow NSX Type S has joined the party. One of Jonathan River's famous uh, vehicle walk-arounds, but we made some adjustments and eating in here, which I think is going to be great. Um, I got a couple quick... I got to bring back the intent. I got to bring back the intent. Why don't you bring back? 2021, under the tutelage of PR, one Andrew Quillen, we did a drone show to let the world know that Integra is coming back. And uh, it caused quite a havoc in the city of Pebble Beach, but uh, and, and Carmel, yeah, it caused a lot of traffic issues there, but uh, the, the response was amazing on social media. And I do really take this opportunity to thank you as a representative of the development team. Integra has become a, a top seller within the premium compact uh, category already. And now we're adding to that series this ultimate uh, Integra Type S. to the, the uh, Integra Type S uh, drive. So I just want to point out a few things before we get going. I think you've all seen your cars out there already. Um, before I have to give you guys a fun little sidebar story about this TSX. So I just met up with James, who's here at the Integra event writing for Autoblog. And believe it or not, 
He's the original owner of this 2006 TSX. He bought the car actually in Phoenix of all places. So it was sold new uh, at Bell Acura, not far from my house. Spent a little bit of time in California and then about the last decade and a half in Utah with my friend until it went through restoration uh, just over the last few months. So long story short, happy ending. The car's meeting its original owner. James and I are gonna do a little podcast for Autoblog right now. And uh, we'll let you know how that goes. I mean, it's like, it's like getting together with like an old girlfriend <laughs> after 16 years. Uh, Hope that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy. All right. Well, he's going to have some fun with it for about, well, not quite a full week. But uh, anyway, I'll pick this car back up from him sometime next week. So check you later. Here's the most important part is the autograph of the original owner. Now this picture James, you'll have to tell the backstory here. This would have been taken in some driveway, it's my maybe. Parents, it's my parents' driveway in Phoenix. But yeah, my parents lived in Arizona. They still do. And uh, yeah, this would have been the day I got it with my with my frayed bottom hey, uh, cargo pants from 2006. That was all the rage, man. Yeah, I, I think they might be trending back. So. I still have that shirt. <laughs> go, 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 go Blue, Blue Jays. Jays. Carlos Delgado. Um... But yeah, all right. Looks next, all official. Really is a nice. Just landed in Burbank, California, and uh, picking up the TSX that's been left here in the airport parking by James. Looks like the car is right where he left it. Back in action. It's funny, just 54 something seconds ago I saw James post his uh, summary of travels where he had some before and after photos of basically uh, back then as well as now with the TSX and I don't know how many miles he put on it maybe maybe only uh, 100 or so because it rolled 189 on the way to Ojai a week ago so yeah I'm gonna get uh, on the road I'm headed to Torrance tonight I'm gonna be visiting the Honda corporate office tomorrow and uh, more to come on that when I get there. LA traffic at its finest. Checking in for the night at my favorite Super 8 here in Torrance, so I'm only a couple miles away from Honda when I head over there tomorrow. Here it is, I've arrived Honda headquarters in Torrance, California, and I'm gonna visit the lobby here to check it out and show you a little something special that's going on inside there, but uh, nice to have the TSX visiting its mother home. Even though it was assembled in Japan, but this is the corporate office. Here's a better look at the main office here. The lobby has the door entering right through there and uh, I'll show you in a second, but they've actually opened a lobby museum. Uh, more to come on that in just a second. So here you go, this is the what uh, the new and improved American Honda Collection Hall. I'll walk you through this in just a second, but it's a vast change and expansion from what this lobby used to look like just within the last couple of years. Some of you have seen my uh, collection of trophies and things, including the Motor Trend Car of the Year for the 94 Accord. Somebody found it a swap meet, believe it or not, but. If you've ever wondered what Honda does with all of the awards that it receives from various uh, publications and so on, here's just a sampling of it, including everything from SEMA stuff to Kiplingers. Every one of these has a very special story attached to it. So this uh, collection or museum is not really publicly unveiled yet. Obviously it is public because it's open to the public and this is just Honda's main lobby, but there hasn't been a formal, I guess we'll call it an open house or anything of that nature yet. So I believe there's something in the works for that. But in the meantime, 
I'll give you a sneak preview of what's going on in here. There is a formal open house pending later this year. So I believe this is still a work in progress. Uh, but so those of you who remember back in the day, there was what became known as the Secret Museum. This was just up the street from here, maybe a mile or so. Very nondescript business park style building that uh, every once in a while you'd have a special event or a private event held there. And I've been in there a couple times. I went for the first time, uh, actually when my legend rolled half a million miles here on this campus in 2011. Later on in 2014, we had a legend meet that they let us go in there and check it out. And it was a different sort of layout from this. There were, uh, there was a second story with cars on, you know, a mezzanine sort of like that. And this is a smaller sort of sample of the collection. My understanding about this museum is that it will reflect sort of an evolving display. In other words, they have a bunch more cars behind the scenes elsewhere that will eventually make their way out here to be shown publicly. So that way it keeps the display sort of dynamic and it will change it up every time someone comes over here, you know, uh, occasionally. I am particularly excited to see this car in here and you all know why. Three years ago, I bought this car for Acura. Basically, in, for lack of a better phrase, I was given a blank check and said, go find us a uh, clean RSX Type S. And this car popped up on OfferUp in Florida and I had it transported to my house. It had 55 or 58,000 miles on it only. This is a very cool color called Orange Blaze. And it's an 06, the last year for this generation. Anyway, uh, the car ended up being used in late 2020 as part of the relaunch of the Type S nomenclature. So it was fun to see this thing used a lot by journalists and really <laughs> driven pretty hard, to be honest, um, for such a clean low miler. And it warms my heart to see that it's still being loved and appreciated here at Honda Corporate. I knew they'd hung on to it, but I wasn't sure sort of since Type S launch has now taken place as of a long time ago, I wasn't sure if they were going to keep it or what, but looks like it is being put to good use here in the collection hall. Give you a little closer look at it, these other vintage Acuras. This is obviously the first gen three door Integra, very classic body style, and the first gen Legend sedan. This is really the car that started it all in 1986. Uh, this one looks very similar cosmetically to one that I had uh, just recently called Ascot Gray. It was a two-tone design. Mine was an LS with a burgundy leather interior. Amazing running and driving car for its time and really set the bar high for all Acuras that later would follow. Good representation of motorcycle stuff as well. As you all know, Honda is way more than an automotive brand. In fact, Honda built its reputation on really anything with an engine. Generators, watercraft, motorcycles, ATVs, side-by-sides. Honda really excels in anything mechanically geared that way. When the Integra name relaunched, I was part of a video shoot over in near downtown LA and this car came out of hiding for the first time in a while. They drove it around a little bit. Always love the fifth gen prelude. Also here, you can't uh, not appreciate the Electron Blue Pearl EBP EM1 chassis Civic SI. This is uh, probably 99 or 2000. Those cars continue to be extremely collectible in the modern era because most of them were heavily modified or destroyed back in the earlier tuner days. I'm gonna take the chance while I'm out here to connect with some other Honda internal associates and say hello since I'm out here. And then I'll begin the trek to uh, Phoenix later this afternoon, but about a six hour drive. But for right now, I'm enjoying being uh, among some cool cars and cool people out here.
This is the main lobby as you come into American Honda. You can see the front desk over there. But uh, this particular entryway has special significance. Uh, out these glass double doors is where uh, they had red carpet set up. And the day that my legend rolled 500K, by the way, there's the Power of Dreams Cafe. That's a clever name for a coffee shop. And this right here is where there was red carpet coming down this pathway and the podiums right here and the banner announcing my 500k achievement was right above me on these windows. So pretty awesome to be here. What is it now? Almost 12 years later and uh, recognizing that I'm still just as big of a Honda and Acura geek as I was before. Just gonna head out and get started on my drive back. Meeting up with an old legend friend now from back in the day. Penny has been around the community for a long time and she has a Sherwood Green GS six speed, a lot like mine. And I am picking up an exhaust system from her. So it just worked out perfectly that as I'm heading eastbound toward Arizona, I'll be able to pick this up from her. So this is Penny's Sherwood Green GS six speed. I've known of this car for probably a decade and a half now. It is super clean. Luckily for me, Penny saved a piece of exhaust that um, I'm in need of for my current restoration project. But check out Penny's car. She has the interior completely redone in cat skin two-tone leather and a beautiful burlwood shift knob or a console there. 219,000 miles. You would never know it though from looking at this thing. Very, very mint condition. And then one of the things you'll notice, this was kind of a big deal in the legend forums. Back in the day was the eyelids. These are color matched Sherwood green. They call it an eyelid going up over the headlight there and clear corner lights as well. Just made my last fuel stop before heading on the final stretch to Phoenix and we'll close this trip out. The only TSX I've seen all day and it's right by my house. Made it home and this car was absolutely flawless the entire way, about probably a thousand plus miles considering the fact that James drove it for a little bit too and couldn't be happier with how this thing handled it.